Let's take a look at graphing some inequalities and then writing them in interval notation. A lot of people get confused with this. Now remember, you've got, uh, as far as graphing goes, you've got solid dots and open dots. Your solid dot is when you have something equal to, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Your open dot is when it's just less than or greater than. So starting with this one, let's draw a little number line. Doesn't have to be exact. Here's the number two. Since it's just greater than, it's gonna be an open dot around the two, and you can't really tell that's open, so let me try again. All right, if we go to two, it's gonna be an open dot. Now, what direction are the numbers that are greater than two? Because that's the X I'm describing. Well, they go to the right, okay? So that's the graph of it. Now, how would you write that in interval notation? An interval has two numbers, the left side and the right side. All right, what number is on the left end of this line? Well, it's a two, but since it's an open circle, you use the parentheses. All right, on the other side, it's going to positive infinity, and you always use a parentheses with infinity. Okay, now this one has greater than or equal to, so I'm gonna use a solid dot on it. It's greater than, so it also goes to the right, so there's my graph. Now, how about interval notation on that? Well, it still starts at two, but since it's a solid dot, it includes two, I'm gonna use a bracket on this end. I'm still gonna to go to infinity and that will still be a parenthesis. Okay, this one down here, the value of X is in between negative three and one. So let me draw a number line here. If this is negative three and this is one, all right, right here, I have just the less than sign. So that's gonna be an open dot. Down here, I have less than or equal to, so that's gonna be a closed dot. And since X is all the numbers in between these, I would just draw a line. All right, now how to do this in interval notation? Well, look at your endpoints. Here is a three, and since it's an open dot, you're gonna use a parenthesis, negative three, comma. Here's your one, and since that's a closed dot, you're gonna need a bracket there. 